everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know, and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing a book tag, but uh, which book tag am I doing? That's a good question. Oh. 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 My cat peed on these. I thought I'd cured all of her peeing issues by forcing her to wear a common collar. Apparently not. That sucks. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the ultimate six book tag. I took the little quiz thingamadoodly thing that you're supposed to take, and I got Jane Seymour. So within the past year, I was like, I want to get more into Broadway musicals because I got into Curse of Child, which isn't a musical, but I really like Curse of Child, and like I used to just be a fan of the script, but I'm a fan of the play because I've actually seen the play. And so I was like, I'm going to listen to different soundtracks from different Broadway shows and whatever. I listened to Six and I'm obsessed. I constantly have a song from Six stuck in my head. So while people have like the TikTok song stuck in their head or whatever, my brain is going divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. That's literally going on in my head non-stop. So yeah, I'm obsessed with Six now. I got Jane Seymour when I took the little quiz, although Anne Boleyn is my favorite, so yeah, but it's okay. I like Jane. I like them all. I don't dislike any of them. And oh, dog is barking. So basically with this tag, you take the quiz and then there's a bunch of prompts that fit with the queen that you got. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through this. So my favorite co-authored book. I honestly think I've only read one co-authored book. I have some on my TBR that I need to read, but the only one that I've actually read and that I remember enjoying, maybe I've read another co-authored book and I just didn't enjoy it. 5e Part is my favorite co-authored book and it's the only one that I can remember reading. It's by Rachel Livencott, Miki Daughtry, and Tobias Ikonis. This is just such a phenomenal book. Five Feet Apart, in case you don't know, is about two patients who fall in love and they both have cystic fibrosis. And with cystic fibrosis, you can't get close to another person who has cystic fibrosis. You have to stay six feet apart from each other or else you might catch the other cystic fibrosis patients infection that they have in their lungs. This book is really eye-opening and it really gives a lot of information and insight into cystic fibrosis. I highly recommend that everyone reads this book. It does have some sad parts as most books with people with like illnesses and disorders and stuff have, but it is phenomenal. It is such a good book. I have not seen the movie yet, but I really enjoyed the book and I highly recommend that you go check out Five Feet Apart if you haven't already. Also, I don't reread really books often, but I'm considering rereading this one just because I loved it so much and because it's so easy to like breeze through and read. Yeah, it is just fantastic. Next up is Most Heartbreaking Fictional Death. I'm gonna change this up from the answer that I usually say for the most heartbreaking death, and I'm gonna actually go for a character that was from a book that I finished listening to as an audiobook recently, and that's The Vampire's Assistant by Darren Shan, I think. It's the second book in the Circa du Freak series. I know it's a middle grade series. I literally had like no interest in reading that series until this year when I found out that it was a vampire series. And since I had a concussion, I was listening to a ton of audiobooks while I had my concussion because I'm not supposed to use my screen or whatever and I wasn't supposed to read when I had a concussion but she said I could listen to audiobooks so I was listening to the Circuit du Freak series. I only listened to the first two but the second one has a really really heartbreaking death at the end so spoiler alert for the vampire's assistant just like skip forward like 30 seconds or so if you don't want to hear the spoiler. So there's a character introduced in The Vampire's Assistant named Sam, and Sam is like such an innocent little sweetheart, like such a little cinnamon roll, and he brutally gets killed by the wolfman, and I almost started bawling. It was so sad. He was my favorite character, and I was like, I love this kid, and then he died, and I was like, what do you mean he died? I'm literally like about to cry right now. I need to stop myself. Next up is your favorite OTP. My OTP isn't like canon. It's a ship that I have that I'm obsessed with. And if you follow me on like any social media, you probably know this is my favorite OTP. But if I haven't talked about this enough, then I'm embarrassed about myself. So my OTP is from Harry Potter and... It is Drary, Draco Malfoy, and Harry. Harry definitely has bi energy, and Draco, I feel like, is gay. And they just have, like, chemistry, and they would be the perfect enemies to lovers. I'm obsessed with Drary. I don't read fanfiction often, but I read Drary fanfiction as long as it isn't smutty. I'm just so obsessed with Drary, and it is my favorite ship. Even though I know people will hate me for saying that I ship Drary, I just do, okay? I do. Also, I want to show something, because I haven't really had a chance to show this, and I am apologizing right now. There's no way to show this without showing the author's name and as I've said on my channel before I'm trying not to show the author's name but unfortunately to show what I'm about to show you 
I have to show you the author's name. So when I was in the hospital last July, there was this I think it's called a CNA RNA. So it's like not the head nurse, but it's someone who just like watches over you and sits in a room with me. And I was in a bad mental space when I was in the hospital. And so someone had to monitor me 24 seven. So there was this girl in the hospital and I wish I could be friends with her outside of the hospital. She was so nice. And she was like watching Harry Potter with me. And she's like, I know that you love Harry Potter. And I have this book that I'm gonna give you a version of Harry Potter. And I was like, hmm, this is interesting. And I'm like, she's just giving to a patient that she only knows for like 12 hours and she gave it to me and it made me so happy so it is a signed edition of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince but it isn't signed by the transphobic author it's signed by the illustrator who is Mary Grand Prix as you can see it is signed by the illustrator I love this it is like so special to me because I have a story behind it and my cat's whiskers are in the screen right now but yeah Drury is my OTP and this edition of Pathlet Prince means so so much to me because it's signed by the illustrator and because a very nice person working at the hospital gave it to me. I wish I could write like a thank you note to that nurse, but I don't really know how. Next up is the softest character or book. I don't have this book physically with me because it's packed away in a moving box in like the room where I have all my stuff in my house, but it's The Deceivers by Kristen Simmons and the softest character from that is Henry. Henry is just like so soft and innocent and I love him and in case you don't know like my favorite characters in most books like Sam from The Vampire's Assistant, I love like soft innocent pure characters. Henry is really one of those characters. He's like the character that I'm literally like obsessed with. So The Deceivers is basically about a school for scam artists and it is amazing and Henry is one of the students at the school for scam artists and he just like it's just like perfect like pure wholesome energy and I love Henry so much. Next up is favorite fictional family. I would normally go for the Weasleys for this but I am gonna not go for the Weasleys with this because I already mentioned Harry Potter in this video. And I am gonna go with the Colons from the Twilight series. My cat just like knocked stuff off of my TV stand. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Colon family from the Twilight series. I have New Moon with me here because I'm not really sure where Twilight is. I think it's in my moving boxes. But basically like I love the Colons, especially Emmett, Jasper, and Alice. They're like so amazing and I mean, I guess they aren't like a biological family, but like they are a family, you know? Family don't end in blood. Like, no, you can have families that aren't biological. But yeah, I love the Colons and I don't have anything else to elaborate on that. I just love them. And some of my favorite characters in the series are some of the members of the Colon family. So the final one is Can't Break Me Down, a character who's been through a lot or the strongest character. And for this, I'm gonna go with Katniss Everdeen. I have this like really bad version of Mockingjay right here. It's like really dirty and stuff. I got it at a used bookstore. But anyways, I feel like Katniss has been through the most, I feel like. And yeah, I just feel like she's really strong, especially in Mockingjay, she goes through a ton of stuff. I feel like throughout the three books, she goes through so much trauma, but yet she's stronger for it. And she just keeps growing as a strong character more and more as the series progresses. And yeah, I just admire Katniss. She is so strong and amazing. And she perseveres through all the hard things that happen throughout this series. So yeah. Okay, that is all for the Jane Seymour edition of the Ultimate Six book tag. I might go back and do some of the other characters later, but I'm just gonna do Jane Seymour for right now. If you have not listened to the Six soundtrack, go and listen to the soundtrack. It is a historical musical mixed with like rock punk type stuff and it is about the wives of King Henry VIII and it is phenomenal. I highly recommend that all of you listen to it and I really hope that someday I can see six that's like on my bucket list though I don't know if that will ever happen because you know I have health issues but like Maybe it'll happen. I hope it can happen someday. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I upload a book-related video every Tuesday, so stick around for more fun videos like this. And as always, I have all of my social media linked down in the description below. If you have a favorite queen from Six, feel free to leave who it is down in the comments section. And I hope all of you are having a safe week, and I will see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!